There's three parts to uh, this this session routine. After you've done the test with the front rack position, taking the pictures and videos from the bottom of the squat and at the top, you're going to move into part B, okay? And part B is going to require your dumbbell. So the farmer's walk with a head tilt. You're simply just going to let the arm relax by your side as if you're doing a regular farmer's walk. And as you walk slowly, you're just tilting the head away from the dumbbell and you'll just feel a little stretch through the trap and through the neck here each time you tilt the head. So just walking slowly, tilting the head. Same then on the other side, obviously tilt the head to the opposite side as you go. You can do it standard still if you don't have too much room, standing still or walking, completely up to you. So next up then, once you've done both sides there, is a door frame, door frame pec stretch. And simply just going to grab the door frame round right about head height and then you're going to step through. So I've got my right arm on the uh, frame here or the rig and then I'm going to step through my right leg so that same side and I'm just going to step through and come back. And what's really important with these stretches is you're not trying to get like an extreme stretch feel in the muscle. You just move in to a comfortable position with a little bit of a stretch and then coming back. And that's going to help your muscle kind of relax and get into a better position rather if you go into an extreme stretch your muscle might just tighten up and not release as much as it could do 20 then each side again just go other side other arm over leg stepping through and then you're going to follow the door frame stretch up with a pec fly so a standing pec fly very similar uh, movement to what you've just done with the door frame, you're going to step through, and as you step through, this hand, this hand's going to swing out as if you're doing a, a fly there, okay? So out to the side, and all that's doing then is putting a little bit of load through that new range of motion that you've created from the stretch here, okay? So that should get your pecs freed up nicely, get them functioning that new range, and also release a little bit of your uh, traps at the same time. So that's the first section, that's, well, that's part B. Part C, Jeff, Jefferson curls, as we all have probably done plenty of before, straight into the Turkish get up mob. So the first part of it is gonna look and is the same as the Turkish get up. So hand, uh, right hand in the air, gonna come down into my opposite left knee, hand out to the side. Now this is where your leg would usually sweep forwards but instead we're gonna sweep it back. And then from that position then, we're just gonna drive the hip up. Okay, so keep driving the hip up. I think it's 10 reps there on each side. And all that's doing is putting a little bit of pressure uh, laterally through your uh, thoracic. And you probably feel, if anything like me, a few little clicks and clunks as, as the thoracic frees up. So the Jefferson curl is getting some flexion and extension through the through the thoracic and this is getting a little bit of sideways rotation, lateral rotation through as well. So that should free your th thoracic up nicely and then we're linking that in with single arm sots press to kind of get that thoracic into a nice extended position whilst functioning in the bottom of a squat. So the two areas back to back there followed then by the tempo front squats should kind of get you your front rack feeling um, a bit more comfortable and hopefully a little bit more upright by the time you've finished and done the retest.